Okay, Boss Dog here. It's time for another nickel hunt. I got me a new box of nickels here. I like these kind here with the holes in them, so let's hear. Let's break into this box right now. Let's see. See if there are any treasures or any enders right here on top. They are circulated. First glance, I don't see any enders. I'm not going to take them all out. But anyway, let's break right into this box. See what treasures are in here. And I will bring you in with the first find. Let's get to it. Okay, two rolls in. And we find our first find of the box. 1941, right there looking at me. 1941. 1941 Philadelphia. Okay, good. There's our first five. We'll put him right up there. And while we're here, we'll take another quick look through here. And we'll see if there's anything else in this roll. The older nickels here. I'll go through every one of these. Check them all out. Nineteen sixty-four. Okay, nothing else in this roll. Let's keep cracking them open. Okay, ten rolls in. And we have our second find of the box. And there it is right there, 1956. 1956. Hey, look at there. 1956. Denver. Put him right up there. 1956. All right. Not too, not very hot, not a very hot box so far. So 1956. Let's see. I'll go through every one of these and look at them all. We're just looking for anything that might stand out. Look us right in the face here. A lot of these newer nickels you can't. 74. 87. No, 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 no. no. Oh, here we go. Oh, another 50s. 1958. D. Let's see if that's that D over D inverted. Let's see here. No, that's not a D over D inverted. Anyway, okay, there we go. So put him right up there with the other 58. How do you like that? I'll go through each one of these nickels, but nothing else stands out in this box. <laughs> 40 rolls to go. Okay, 11 rolls in. And here is a 1957. A fourth find of the box, 1957 D. 1957 D, okay. Put him right up there. Take a look here and see. Nothing else in this roll? Let's keep cracking them open. Okay, 12 rolls in. And we have our th another one in the 40s, 1946. Philadelphia, well, that's a nice 
1946. Anyway, he was the second one from the end, so I've already gone through the roll, but there you go. Another one from the 40s. That's their second one in the 40s. And we got three in the 50s. And I've got an upgrade here, and we'll go over all this at the end of the, in the recap. But let's keep hunting. We got a lot of coins. We got a lot of rolls to open up here. Okay, 18 rolls in, and we have another one in the 50s right here. 1955. Denver. Let's see if that's a D over S. Doesn't look like anything. Let's put it under the scope here. Uh, there's something. Looks like something there. I'll take a look at that a little bit closer. But anyway, 1955. Uh-huh. So there you go. There's a fourth one in the 50s. Fourth one in the 50s. Two in the 40s. Let's see if there's anything else in this roll here. Nothing else in this roll? 18 rolls in, and let's keep looking them over. Okay, 27 rolls in, and we have another one in the 40s. Right there it is. 1946, Philadelphia. 1946, Philadelphia, okay. Put him right up there. We got three in the 40s and four in the 50s. And let's check this roll here. Nothing else in this roll. 23 rolls to go. Let's keep cracking them open. Okay, 17 rolls to go. And I haven't turned this over. I run into this one here. That's a slick back. Haven't looked at it yet. I know it's got to be old. It's not a. It's not a silver. So we'll take a look at this one here together. Boom. Uh, ooh, nineteen forty. I knew that was going to be old. Take a look at that. Yeah, too bad there's not a mint mark at the top there. Still haven't run into any silver, but there you go. That's a nice find. Nineteen forty. Nineteen forty. Philadelphia. Okay, boy, we'll put him right up there. That's a nice find. Right down the very end here. Okay, nice find. 17 rolls to go. Okay, 14 rolls to go. We have another one in the 40s. Caught him looking right at me here. 1941. 1941. Yes. Nineteen forty one S. How do you like that? Okay, nineteen forty one S. We'll take it. So right at home. We're doing pretty good here. We got five. Five in the forties and four in the fifties. That's not bad. We're nothing in the thirties yet. Thir fourteen rolls to go. Uh oh, look here. Ooh, that's a serious ender there. 1959. Wow, look at that one. Wow. 1959D. I tell you what, that looked like a new coin there. That might be an upgrade. I'm going to put this right up here. These are two possible upgrades. How do you like that? Right at the very end. I didn't even notice that. Okay, well... Let's keep cracking them open. 14 rolls to go. Okay, 13 rolls to go. And look at right there. 1939. 1939. Philly. Well, what do you know? What do you know? 1939. We'll put that one right up here. There's another one sitting right in, but we'll blow it. 
That's a 76. How do you like that? Huh? 1939. Wow. You just never can tell. You just never can tell with these boxes. Coins, what you what you're gonna find in here. I like that, 1939. Okay, 13 rolls to go. Then I'll bring you in for a very important recap. Very important recap. 10 rolls to go, and I found another one in the 50s. 1954. Denver, 1954, Denver. Okay, we'll put him right up there, that other 50s. Five in the 40s, five in the 50s. How do you like that? Nice even amount here. Nothing else in this roll. Ten rolls to go. Let's keep cracking them open. Okay, five rolls to go. And we have another in the 50s. 1955. 1955. Denver, we'll put that right up here. Five rolls to go, then I'll bring you in with a recap. Okay, four rolls to go. And we have another one in the 40s. Right there it is. 1948. S. Yes. 1948 San Francisco. How do you like that? 1948. Okay, we'll take it. Put it right up there with, with the rest of the ones in the 40s. We'll take a quick look in here. Sixty-four. Okay, four more rolls to go. All right, we got two rolls to go. I opened up this roll, and you know you can usually tell. You see something like that? That doesn't necessarily mean it's silver. Ninety-nine percent of the time, that's just a dirty coin. But in this particular instant, I didn't even look at it till I got down to the very end here. And it is silver. Look at there. 1944P. Look at there. 1944P. Down to three rolls ago. So, I'm, I'm saying up with what, all the nickel boxes I've hunted so far, I've always found at least one silver. There it is. A P. 1944 I looked at that and I still didn't even know it was a silver. 1944, Philadelphia, we have silver. Ah, uh, okay. We'll put him right up there with the rest of them. How do you like that? You know, I look at the edges of them when I open the roll up and 99% of the time I see a coin in that looks like that. It's just a dirty coin. So I don't even look anymore. I just open up the rolls and spread them out and start searching. Because like I said, and I was really surprised there. So anyway, there you go. Two rolls to go. Let's keep cracking them open. Okay, all 50 rolls hunted. I'll bring you in with a quick recap here. Okay. Well, let's see here. First off, we found one... 2009. I keep all the 2009s, very low mintage. Nothing special about them other than they're low mintage. I've got a 
1939, one in the 30s, 1939, no mint mark, Philadelphia. I've checked everything for errors. I have no error coins, no error coins. And we've got uh, one, two, three. We've got six in the 40s. Six of them in the 40s. We got a 1941, 1941, San Francisco, 1940, Philadelphia, oh yes, these are nice, 1941, Philadelphia, 1946, Philadelphia, 1946, Philadelphia. Wow, we got a lot in the 40s. 1948. Let's see what that is. 1948S. 1948S. I'll take a look at that under the loop. 48S. Okay. And the 50s in no particular order. 1954. 1955, 1957, 1956, 1958, 1955. Let's see, 1955, Denver. Anyway, so there we go there. And the find of the box, I guess, is 1944 Dirty. Philadelphia, P, 1944, silver. We got silver. I think it was like the 34th roll before the end. Okay, anyway, it's very dirty. Now, I, every time I open up a roll, I look at the sides of them. And if I see something unusual, like a darker coin, I always take a look at it. But this is before. I, after doing that for so many years, 99.9% .9 of the time, they're just dirty nickels. So I don't even look at them anymore. I just open up the rolls, look at the sides, and... Spread them out, and when I get to it, I get to it. And that's what happened here all the way to the end. I think it was the third or fourth coin from the end, and there there it was, a silver. So there you go. We finally found We did find a silver. So I've got some nice upgrades up here for my album. I'm going to take a look and see if they're upgraded. Look at that. Look how nice that 1977 is. And I got a real nice 19. 88 really nice coin looking coins. I'm going to see if those are going to be upgrades in my album. They look like almost, so you wonder how they almost uncirculate. 1950, look at that, 1959. 1959 D. It's got something, 1959. I'll have to take a look at that underneath the loop, but it's got something underneath that D. So anyway, all in all, it was a nice hunt. I'm going to go get a box of pennies and hunt some pennies. I did find one silver, so that was really nice. Uh, I wanna, I'm want to. i getting close to 1,000 subscribers. So once I get to 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway video, and I'm going to give away this. Badlands Bullion. Guns and Gold and Rock and Roll established 2014. Look at all them skulls on the back of that thing. One troy ounce, 0.999% fine silver. Look at the skulls in that. I'll be giving this away. I'll do a giveaway video after I get 1,000 subscribers. You leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. You have to be a subscriber. Hit the notification buttons. Like the videos. So I can, so you'll know when I'm giving this away. You won't, you won't, if you don't, if you don't leave a, if you don't hit the notification button, you don't, won't know when this video is coming out. So I'll do a giveaway video and give you a chance to win this one person. Isn't that beautiful? Badlands Bullion. And also, I'll leave a link to my Etsy shop below here. And you can go in my Etsy shop and you can order a ring made out of this Badlands Bullion. And I, I put, I fold it so... All those skulls are on the outside of the ring, and I put like an antique finish on it, so all those skulls and the teeth pop on them, and I can make you a real nice ring out of this. So anyway, go to my Etsy shop, 
If you like, if you want a ring like this, go ahead and order a ring. They're really nice rings, absolutely beautiful. But anyway, this is going to be my giveaway for a thousand subscribers. So, anyway, hope you like this video. Please like, please subscribe, hit that notification button, hit the like button. And this is Boss Dog. I hope you like this video, and I will see you soon. Boom.